Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful to let I came out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line goes back to you being the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, one of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Shalom. It's your brother Halakia from the GMS Denver camp coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh with another video. And this time I want to go into the hell doctrine, man. Just a few scriptures on that because we had a Jake, a bugged out Jake, who came up to the camp uh, last week, you know, and he was going back and forth with us. He was like, oh, I bet y'all believe in the reincarnation. He was like, yeah. He was like, oh, I bet y'all don't. And we was, tell, we was telling him, oh, hell don't exist. He was like, oh, y'all don't believe in hell. And he did, got in the uproar about hell. So I'm going to just pull a few scriptures to prove that hell does not exist according to the Bible, man. You see? So we're going to start here in Ecclesiastes uh, 12 and 7. It says what? Then shall the dust return to the earth. As it was, and the dust is what? Your body, your flesh. It's talking about when you die, man. So the body returns to the earth, and the spirit shall return unto the Most High who gave it. Point blank, period. Your spirit does not go down into a place called hell when you die. Your, your body goes into the ground. They put you in the ground. They bury you, and your spirit goes back to the Heavenly Father. And this is the thing, man. If there was, if, if there was such a place... Of, of, of such great significance where all spirits went to burn if they didn't repent, would that not be in the creation story? Would, would that not be a part of the, uh, the Most High's creation? This this place of great significance. Everything is everything else the Most High created is, is written down and recorded. So this place known as hell, it will be written down and recorded too if it did exist. But when you go back to the creation story, that does not exist because the Most High never created a place called hell where all spirits go to burn if they don't repent man that's a lie man that's not the truth that's a cunningly devised fable man so ecclesiastes 12 and 7 one more time then shall the dust return to the earth as it was and the spirit shall return unto the most high who gave it the most high gives everything a spirit upon this planet earth every living thing has a spirit from the heavenly father you see now, let's let's go even further. Let's go to Ecclesiastes 3 and 21. Here it is. Who knoweth the spirit of man that goeth upward? You see, the spirit of man goes upward to the most high, to the spirit world, man. You see? Who knoweth the spirit of man that goeth upward and the spirit of beast that goeth downward to the earth? You see that? The, the spirit of man returns to the heavenly father who gave it, as we just read in Ecclesiastes 12. You see, in seven, and the spirit of the beast goes down into the earth, man. Point blank, period. Ecclesiastes 3 and 21, one more time. Who knoweth the spirit of man that goeth upward, and the spirit of the beast that goeth downward to the earth? The spirit of man goes up, the spirit of the beast goes down into the earth. If the spirit of if the spirit of man went down into a place called hell, it would be written. But it's not. Your spirit returns back to the heavenly father once your once your body expires, man. Your body expires. Is is it, they do what they do to it. They put you in the ground. You decompose. You become a part of the earth again, and your spirit returns back to the heavenly father, man. You go back to the spirit world. There's no such thing as hell. You see, another one. This is Job chapter three. We're going to start at, uh, let's start at 11. Why died I not from the womb? Why did I not give up the ghost when I came out of the belly? Why did the knees, why did the knees prevent me? Or why the breasts that I should suck? For now should I have lain still and been quiet. I should have slept, then I had been at rest so what Job is talking about, he's, he's wishing that he would have died because of all the hell he was catching. And he said if he would have died, he would have been at rest. He would have been asleep. If your spirit is down in a place burning forever, in a place called hell, 
You don't get no rest down there. You're burning. You see, Job is not talking about going to a place to, to, to burn an eternal hellfire forevermore. Because that place doesn't exist. He's talking about going to the spirit world. Where he's at rest, man. Because everything is in complete order in the Most High's realm, man. It's, it's nothing but peace in the Most High's realm. Verse 14 says what? With the kings and counselors of the earth, which have built desolate places for themselves, or with, or with princes that had gold, who filled their houses with silver, or as in hidden untimely birth, had I not been, as infants which never saw light, there the wicked cease from troubling. The same place Job said, he, if, he, if he were to die, he would have been at rest. There the wicked cease from troubling. I thought the wicked was supposed to go to hell to burn. You see? All these murderers, these child molesters, these rapists. You see? All these thieves, man. All these idol worshippers. All these homos, all these lesbians, all these transgender. Guess what? They would be in hell burning, right? Well, Job said in this place, the wicked cease from troubling, and there the weary be at rest. You see? Because everyone goes back to the spirit world once their body expires, man. You see? Because if, if it was anything different, it would be written. Verse 18 says what? There the prisoners rest together. If you're a prisoner, that means you committed crimes, right? You see? That means you were doing wicked things to be put into prison, right? You see? Like I said, murderers, bank robbers, <laughs> you see, thieves. All those are sins, right? Pimps. You see? <laughs> adulterous men, adulterous women. All those are supposed to be in hell, burning. But he said, even the wicked cease from troubling, and there the weary be at rest. Because they go back to the spirit world, man. You see? It says what? There the prisoner rest from there the prisoners rest together. You see, the prisoners rest together. They hear not the voice of the oppressor. You see that? Why? Because they're back in the spirit world resting, man. Verse 19 says what? The small and the great are there, and the servant is free from his master. You see that? Talking about what? The spirit world, man, because there is no such thing as hell. Hell does not exist, man. That was not one of the most highest creation. That's Greek mythology. That's a cunningly devised fable to put fear in you people, man. You see? <laughs> to extort you people of your money, man. You see? So let's read this one more time. Let's go back and read the first two again. One more time to solidify the point, man. Ecclesiastes 3 and 21. Who knoweth the spirit of man that goeth upward? He goes upward to the spirit where he's at rest when he's up there. He or she is up there, you see? And the spirit of beasts that goeth downward to the earth. Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, talking about your body, and the spirit shall return unto the Most High who gave it. Why? Because there is no such thing as hell, you see? So with that, man, I'm going to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekak, Dash. Double honors to the apostles and the others of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the Spirit and power, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, and the sincere peace and salutation to all you hopefully let I came out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do. With that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wah, Abba, Abba, Abba.